Ang Pichok. President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. Court is now back in session, and the floor is once again given to the defense counsel for the accused. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, I'm returning to the incident with the American ship, and again, I'm asking you questions about this incident because we know for a fact that this is something that really happened. C'est quelque chose qui s'est produit. J'aimerais me concentrer sur un aspect particulier. Je vais vous demander de m'expliquer la chaîne de commandement. Qui was it? Qui? Which person was it that ordered the arrest of the crew of the Mayaguez? Who gave the order to the crew of the Mayaguez? Who gave the order to the crew of the Mayaguez? Who gave Answer. Réponse. I was a former combatant or soldier on the island. At that time, I received an order from the upper echelon in a meeting. The order was for soldiers to comply. Visez ce que les soldats respectent lorsque l'ordre ou la circulaire a été mis. Cet ordre devait être respecté. Et nous devions respecter cet ordre hiérarchique. Président. Interrupté. Mr. Witness, please listen carefully to the question and please give your response specifically to the question asked. You may please not, you know, go beyond the question asked by counsel. Please put the question again, counsel. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, I am not asking you to talk in general terms. I am asking you one specific incident. Une question bien spécifique sur l'incident spécifique. Qui a ordonné l'arrêt des membres de l'équipage du navire américain Mayaguez Qui a donné l'ordre à qui et comment le saviez-vous Ma réponse. Answer. The order came from Tamut. Est venu de Tamut. In charge of the division, and he gave the order to members of the navy to go and arrest the ship or vessel. Donc d'aller arrêter l'équipage de ce navire. When the Lorsque l'ordre est arrivé au bataillon, le bataillon a ensuite relié cet ordre au subordonné. Question. Donc, encore une fois, vous répondez de façon très générale. Mais Asmuth était le commandant le plus élevé. Comment est-ce que vous le saviez lorsque vous étiez à Kotan que Asmuth avait donné un ordre à quelqu'un Comment est-ce que vous le saviez Est-ce que vous l'avez vu Est-ce que vous l'avez entendu Est-ce que des gens en parlaient Dites-moi exactement comment vous saviez que c'était lui qui avait donné cet ordre. Réponse. Answer. Back then, the Mayaguez was captured, and at that time, the naval soldiers told that the Mayaguez was captured. Actually, the naval soldiers listened to the order, and the order must have been from the division. Otherwise, the division. Naval soldiers did not dare to seize and capture the vessel. During that time, no one wanted the war again, and I believe that the order may have been from 
de Batalion or the upper echelon. And there was a supérieur. discussion that uh, unless there was an order, cet effet, the task à moins il y could eu, be performed. Sans, sans ordre, cette no one tâche n'aurait pas pu être accomplie. To perform any task Personne n'aurait osé accomplir ce genre de tâche s'il n'y avait pas eu d'ordre pour ce faire. Mr. Witness, isn't it true Question. That Monsieur you have témoin, no est-ce que c'est vrai who gave que the order vous n'avez aucune idée de qui a donné cet ordre d'arraisonné le Mayaguez Parce que vous avez simplement tiré une conclusion générale, vous avez dit que ça going through the chain of the normal chain of command, but in fact you don't know. Who gave this order? But in fact, you didn't know it precisely. Not to be caught up in the carrying sauce. Response. Upon our, based on our experience and study, as long as we received any instructions or any orders from the division, we could perform the task. And that I could make an objective conclusion that there must have been an order from the division. We could have done that. 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 Let me now move in time to 76, when Division 164 existed. Would you be able to give us an estimate as to how many? Members there were, how many combatants and how many non-combatants there were in Division 164 in approximately October 1976. Aux alentours d'octobre 1976. Ban. Answer. I do not know about that matter. Connais pas cet événement. This matter had something to do with the senior cadres about the soldiers or the fighting troops. Aux troupes de combat. There were soldiers who were ready to. Be on attacks, and I, as I said, I do not know that kind of thing you described. I was aware only what happened in my unit. Let me go a little down in the hierarchy. Do you know? How many combatants and non-combatants there were in Regiment 62, respectively Regiment 140, of which you were a member? Or Regiment 140, dont vous étiez un membre? Answer. Réponse. There were. Four battalions within my regiment. Au sein de mon régiment. They were guards on the island. Il y avait des gardes sur l'île. Regiment 62. Le régiment 62. Were those who were combatants stationed on the island. We were not stationed on land. Nous n'étions pas à terre. Nous n'étions pas sur le continent. If I were to tell you that Regiment 62, in or around 27th of October 1976, consisted of about 1,062 combatant forces, would that be accurate? Do you recall, while being a member of Regiment 62, that there were about 1,060 other combatants? I cannot tell you the exact numbers of combatants. One regiment could consist of one thousand six hundred and forty-two. Regiment 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 six hund
Un régiment se compose en général de 400 membres. Je vois que vous pouvez donner une référence à la question 3, 19, 23, 45, which is titled The Daily List of Forces, 27 October 76. It is about Division 164, apparently done by Meersmoot himself. And in this document, one can read that Division 164 consisted of a total number of 8,611 members, and his own regiment, including non-combatant forces, about 1,700-something. I will ask a question that I think I know the answer to. Do you know uh, all 1,062 combatant forces of your regiment, Regiment 62, at the time? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, the oui. it is the exact number. C'est le chiffre exact. But my question was, do you question. did you know them all? Est-ce que vous les connaissiez you know tous? C'était euh, ma question. Est-ce que vous connaissiez leurs noms? Est-ce que vous saviez qui ils étaient? Euh, Est-ce que vous connaissiez les chefs de peloton, the les chefs de groupe, ou les chefs de sous-groupe, ou les chefs d'escadron? Est-ce que vous les connaissiez à cette époque? Ah. <coughs> Answer. I was a part of uh, Regiment 62. I knew only some uh, senior cadres, and Jing was the, my commander. Et mon, uh, chef également. Frankly speaking, I knew only commanders of battalions and regiments. And as for members of the regiment, I cannot recall. I do not know all of them. 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 I do not know all of Instructions or commands that you ever witnessed yourself. Have you ever seen? 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 Have you ever Answer. I was a combatant or soldier. J'étais un soldat. I in fact have received an order or orders from the upper. Actually, upper echelon here. 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 A battalion was not able to perform the task independently. We were invited to the training sessions, and we were informed that unless there were instructions from the upper section, we could not perform the task. As I said, I received an order or instruction from the battalion, and perhaps the battalion may have received an order from the regiment. Fine. Let's now move to the two incidents that you described. Let's now move to the two incidents that you described a few weeks ago. The first incident that you described. 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 The first
les soldats d'un couple vietnamien avec un enfant, vous avez dit qu'ils ont été tués par des soldats du régiment 62 sur l'île de Kopoli. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire qui étaient ces soldats quels, quels sont leurs noms Marc. Réponse. I did not recall the names Je ne me souviens pas de leurs noms. I was part of a Je faisais battalion partie d'un bataillon and, uh, we were in we were under uh, et nous étions dans des régiments différents. À cette époque, j'étais près de cet endroit. Most of them, uh, may have died La plupart d'entre eux sont probablement I can morts déjà. Uh, Question. From those soldiers, les noms but de you know, ces soldats, uh, donc vous ne les connaissez pas, mais uh, est-ce que vous uh, connaissez you know leur, uh, of those les chefs de commandement et ensuite est-ce que vous connaissez les chefs de ces chefs Answer. Réponse. Yuan was a commander of Yuan that était, battalion. Uh, chef de Yuan. Ce bataillon, Yuan. Ham was the Ham head of the le special unit, de spéciale, the so-called special unit. Ce que l'on appelait l'unité spéciale. The special unit would perform certain spéciale tasks. L'unité accomplissait certaines tâches. And uh, Et I was Um, you know, part of a Je company. faisais partie d'une compagnie And at that time, the company et à cette époque, under, la compagnie uh, the, uh, battalion. était sous uh, le bataillon. Répondez au bataillon. Uh, again, Mr. Witness, you're giving very general answers. Encore une fois, vous donnez des réponses très uh, générales, Monsieur Témoin. Ma question, c'était, uh, au sein du régiment 62, 1500 members, avec environ 1500 you know membres, est-ce que vous connaissiez spécifiquement of those, uh, 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 le chef uh, donc, qui donnait des ordres, uh, donc qui a donné l'ordre de, de, de tuer ce couple vietnamien Answer. Réponse. We adhered to uh, the law or orders. The order came down, came Les down, and we nous sont implemented the orders. And avons, the order came through hierarchical order. Ordre est, est venu we de notre did hiérarchie. not uh, perform the tasks nous, uh, on our own initiative unless there was an order of instruction. We the task. Il fallait que nous ayons un ordre and pour le faire. If We did not receive the order. Et si nous We ne sent recevions uh, pas d'ordre, nous euh, pouvions donc envoyer ces personnes sur le continent. Again, Mr. Witness, Question. À nouveau, Monsieur le témoin, vous avez décrit un incident qui a eu lieu sur Kopolei, une île, et donc vous avez décrit donc l'assassinat qui a été fait par des soldats du régiment 62. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire qui sont ces soldats Est-ce qu'ils ont fait cela de façon autonome, sans instruction, ou est-ce qu'ils ont reçu une instruction pour le faire Et si c'est le cas, de qui ont-ils reçu cette instruction Réponse. Answer. The battalion had Le bataillon an avait order reçu or instruction un ordre ou une instruction regiment. de la part du régiment. Et après avoir reçu cet ordre, le bataillon a relayé ensuite cet ordre via une unité spéciale. Fine, but who 
question qui, était, qui dans ce bataillon avait reçu un ordre de qui dans le régiment, qui donnait des ordres à qui et comment est-ce que vous le savez Est-ce que vous l'avez vu Est-ce que vous l'avez entendu Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, s'il vous plaît Answer. Réponse. Since uh, we were trained to adhere to the nous order, nous avons été formés pour uh, respecter les order. ordres. Et donc nous devions respecter uh, ces ordres. Gave the order through the soldiers. Nous ne pouvions. Yun was the commander of the battalion, and he. Yun était celui qui donnait des ordres et c'est lui qui relayait les instructions et les ordres à l'unité spéciale pour que l'unité spéciale puisse accomplir les tâches spécifiques. Donc c'est lui qui a donné cet ordre direct, le commandant du bataillon. Lorsque les soldats devaient accomplir certaines tâches, ils étaient invités à une réunion, qui, une séance d'information pour décrire les tâches qui devaient être accomplies. Question. L'incident que vous avez décrit a eu lieu sur une île qui est très loin du continent, environ 6 à 7 heures de bateau, selon mes estimations. And how did the order was the order conveyed? Who gave the order to have that family killed? Who gave the order to Tell us exactly how it went. Did you hear this? Did you witness the commander? 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 During that time, à cette époque, the order came through the the telegram, par telegram, and it went through the chain of command or hierarchy order, and that task was performed immediately after receiving the order. Accompli après réception de l'ordre. Question: Étiez-vous en mesure de lire ce télégramme? Réponse non. Question. Était-il possible de recevoir sur cette île de Copolei Uh, were in charge of receiving uh, the uh, telegrams afterwards. Uh, they conveyed uh, uh, the order in the telegrams to commanders. I uh, sometimes uh, went to uh, the messenger's uh, office. Where was the office? On Kopowai Island. It was a very remote island. Where was the office? Can you describe that for me? Answer. At the time, I was part of Company Fifty. À cette époque-là, je faisais partie de la compagnie 53. The headquarters of the battalion was about 500 meters away from the company 53. So our headquarters was close to one another. The island was not so big. And uh, there were around four companies, uh, three kilometers in length and three kilometers long, and four 
two kilometers uh, wide. So uh, the offices or headquarters was were close to one another. Do you know when Vietnam recaptured um, Koh Phu Hoai? Et savez-vous à quel moment le Vietnam s'est emparé de Koh Phu Hoai à nouveau? That happened in 1975. However, I cannot recall the month or the day. And my battalion was there, and we were attacked by the Vietnamese, and the Vietnamese captured the island in 1975. He I refer to the Pulawai Island. Je fais référence à l'île de Pulawai. A battalion soldiers uh, in one battalion were captured by the Vietnamese troops and they were transferred to Troll Island. Unless I'm mistaken, but the incident, the first incident that you described. Um, uh, happened in early 76, or late 76, early 77. Um, was this incident on Kopowai Island that you described? Described is the incident that the Vietnamese troops are captured Pulwai Island, and that happened in late 1976 or early 1977. By that time, I was hospitalized at Tang Island. And I heard about the uh, capture of that island by the Vietnamese troops in late 1975, says the witness. Many soldiers uh, lost their lives, and some, uh, were, uh, some soldiers were captured by the Vietnamese. Um, I'm confused, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, you, you described two incidents in, in your last testimony. A uh, Vietnamese couple with an infant about one year old was traveling on a boat and they were killed by soldiers from Regiment 62 on Koh Phu Hoai. Uh, their bodies were chopped in half and subsequently buried on, under coconut trees. This incident, did that take place on Koh Phu Hoai Island? Yes, that is correct. It happened on Pulwai Island. But you also said that Vietnam recaptured Kopo Island already in 1975. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So it, it could not have happened in, as you said, late 76 or early 77, is that correct? Allow me to uh, clarify. Before the killing of uh, those uh, Vietnamese, the Vietnamese troops did Avant not yet capture the island. And I recall that when the uh, Vietnamese troops Et actually captured the island, and later on, it was returned to uh, Campuchia. Cette île 
a été rendu My au unit of us assigned to stationed on that island that is Kapulawai Island. So by that time, I was reassigned from Tang Island to Pulawai Island after the Vietnamese troops had withdrawn from that island. And the killing of the Vietnamese family, that Quant is the father, the mother, and the child, took place when my unit was reassigned to station on that island. Let me read something to you from a book from an American um, journalist, uh, Mr. President, that is again E3 slash 20, Elizabeth Becker. Um, English page 0027902 uh, and 3 Khmer 0023 um, 2263 and French 0663846464 um, it says as follows Cambodians apologized for the islands incidents saying the local commanders had a poor sense of geography. Vietnam then recaptured Pulawai, end of quote. Um, my, question, my first question is, do you know if it's correct that local commanders had a poor sense of geography when it, come to, when it came to islands in, uh, at the coast of Cambodia? Sur les côtes cambodgiennes. I apologize. I just would request the ERN. I didn't get the ERN from the Becker book or the page number. If I could have that, thank you. Uh, page 198. There's two questions, uh, Mr. Witness. Is it correct? What this author seems to suggest, that the local commanders had a poor sense of geography, or at least that's what um, the official government said. I cannot answer that question. And, and the recapturing of Pula Wai, 75, is that what you said? Question, vous avez dit que la prise de Pulaway c'était en 75, c'est exact? That might be a bit confusing, but I understood the island was captured by the Vietnamese in 75 and then evacuated and in, in by the Vietnamese in 75. The, the, the problem, Mr. President, is that I'm, I'm rushing through my questions because I'm actually already over time. Um, I'm just trying to establish uh, when exactly the incident happened that he described in his previous testimony. And when, according to his uh, experience or his, his memory, the Vietnamese uh, had left the island. That's what I'm trying to get at. I cannot recall that. A month after the uh, incident involving the Americans, then the uh, Vietnamese troops engaged in fighting to uh, capture Pulawai Island. And about a fortnight after, all uh, Cambodian soldiers were arrested by the Vietnamese. And three months later, the uh, Vietnamese returned the island to Kampuchea, and that was the time that my unit was assigned to station on that island. And when exactly did this incident that you described take place? Was it after uh, the recapturing? 
la reprise de the DK forces. par les forces du Kampuchea démocratique. At that time, there was no longer uh, fighting. Réponse à cette époque, il n'y avait plus de combat. The 300 soldiers from, bat from my battalion who were captured by the Vietnamese were sent to Troll Island. And after the negotiations taken place between the upper echelon with the Vietnamese authority, those soldiers were returned. And Initially, I was stationed in Tang Island, and later on, début, I was assigned to station in ensuite, that island. Été posté à cette île. Um, Mr. President, is it um, all right with the Chamber if I now hand the floor to uh, the Cuse and Pond Defense team, and when they still have time left, that I will use again that time available to all the defense, because I still have many questions um, to this witness, but the Cuse and team also needs its time. Car j'ai encore de nombreuses questions, mais il s'agit de permettre à l'équipe de défense de Kyosun Pan de pouvoir poser les questions qu'elle a besoin de poser. President, yes, uh, you may do that. And I'd like now to hand the floor to the defense team for Kyosun Pan. Kung Sum On, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Bradstock. My name is Kung Sum On, National Council for Kyosun Pan, and I have some questions to put to you. My first line of uh, questions in relation to your duties on Pulawai Island. You have t just uh, testified that you were wounded during the fighting with the Americans on Tang Island, vous venez de dire and que lors a, a fortnight later, there de was a separate a fighting on Pulwai Island with the Vietnamese troops, and that three months after the fighting with the uh, Vietnamese troops, the Vietnamese authority returned to return the island to the authority of the uh, Kampuchea. Am I correct in stating uh, this? Uh, Events, witness. Yes, that is correct. President, Council, please, uh, you are reminded once again not to use the actual name of this witness and please refer to his pseudonym, that is to TCW1000. Council, thank you, Mr. President, for uh, reminding me. Uh, Mr. Uh, witness, when you were assigned to station on Pulawai Island, who was your superior commander? Answer. Ta Sam Nang was my commander. C'était Ta Sam Nang. And before that, uh, it was uh, June. Et avant cela, However, June, June was replaced by Ta Sam Nang. A été remplacé par Ta Sam Nang. Who, who was the commander of uh, my battalion? Qui était commandant de Question. mon bataillon? Question. How long were, uh, how long did you stay on Pulawai Island? Question. Combien de temps êtes-vous resté sur l'île de Pulawai? Answer. After the fighting with the Americans and the Vietnamese troops in 1975, and also it was in 1975 when I was assigned to stay to be uh, to station in that uh, island, and I remained on that island until 19. 77, when I was assigned to Nous the uh, Navy. Dans la marine. Question, can you be more specific? Question, plus 
which part of 1977 do you remain on the island? En 1977, pendant cette année-là, quel moment étiez-vous sur l'île? Answer. In Réponse. about uh, mid 1977, 1977, that is around April or May, when I was assigned uh, to uh, the Navy. On dans la marine. That is after I was removed from Bulawayo Island to uh, the Navy. Après c'est-à-dire que l'on m'a retiré de Pulawai pour m'affecter dans la marine. Question. Question. For you and for uh, your uh, unit, what were your daily duties? Pour vous et pour votre unité, time? quelles étaient les tâches quotidiennes? Answer. In 1975, when I was on Pulawai Island, lorsque j'étais sur l'île de Pulawai en 1975, after they did not have confidence in me, I tried to refashion myself in order moi, to gain trust from Ankar. La confiance de l'Ankar. And I tried to uh, refashion myself, and later on, I gained the trust, and I was uh, reassigned to the uh, Navy. Council, thank you, Mr. President, and I'd like to give document. Maître Comsamoran, merci, Monsieur le Président. E319-2 23.3.12. Uh, through the uh, witness. President, yes, you may proceed. J'aimerais faire remettre ce document au témoin. Président, allez-y. Council, Mr. Witness, please uh, refer to the documents that I give to you. Monsieur However, témoin, do not reveal the name of this witness. Veuillez vous référer au document qui vous est remis sans do you révéler le nom know du témoin qui est remis. Do you know the person whose name I on the document? La personne dont le nom apparaît en surligné sur le document. Answer. No, I do not know uh, the names uh, of those people non, on this document. Pas les noms des personnes sur ce document. Question. Mr. Witness, Question. can you read uh, the names? On the uh, document, témoin, and if you document, have difficulty in reading the si names, uh, you may ask your duty counsel to do it for you. But uh, witness, I do not know this person here in red. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Counsel, uh, Mr. Witness, please uh, do not uh, témoin, read out the name. De vous dire qu'il ne fallait pas lire le nom du témoin à voix haute. In fact, the uh, name that you pronounce uh, nom, is fait, not uh, correct, and the counsel, please assist uh, your client. Maître, veuillez aider votre client. But at, at witness, I do not know this person. Counsel, thank you. In the statement of this witness, he 
states about the presence of the Vietnamese troops on the Kulawai Island. And in question and answer number 10, and allow me to uh, read it, uh, Mr. President. My unit was in charge of defending the treasury in Kampong Saum. My unit was battalion 450, which consisted of about 500 personnel. And in question Et answer question number 11, the person states, la Battalion 450 dit, was called the special unit. Later, my Plus special tard, unit was divided to stand guard at the port, and port more than 200 personnel were sent to defend Koh Puluwai Island, because at that time the Vietnamese had control of the island. Back then, my à position was deputy chairman of Company 4, de la compagnie 4 Battalion 450, Division 164. 164. And Mr. Witness, you testified about soldiers being sent Monsieur to Pulwai Island to recapture the island from the Vietnamese. Afin de reprendre l'île aux Vietnamiens. Were you a member of those soldiers who were sent from Kampong Sao, or were you sent from elsewhere? President Navinas, please hold on, and the international co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? No, no, I'm just afraid the record, the question will confuse the record. What I heard the witness say is that Vietnam captured the island shortly after the Khmer Rouge took Phnom Penh and then withdrew a few months later. It wasn't, he didn't say anything about Khmer Rouge retaking the island. So that may be confusing. He said the Vietnamese withdrew a few months after capturing the island. Les Vietnamiens s'étaient retirés de l'île. Thank you, Mr. President. Due to these uh, confusing situations, I'd like to put uh, those uh, series of questions to the witness for clarification. President, yes, you uh, may proceed. However, please uh, try to uh, refresh your uh, question and repeat the last part. Council, thank you. And Mr. Witness, can you uh, respond to my last question? Witness. Yes, that's what happened because I myself oui, was involved in the uh, activities. Aux activités. I left Tang Island quitté de Tang. and the Vietnamese uh, uh, troops actually uh, vacated Pulawai Island and then we were assigned to a station in that island. And in the statement you read, you refer to another battalion, that is Battalion 450, which was not my battalion. And there were various battalions who were sent to various islands, including the Tang Island and the other two islands. So I myself was not, uh, did not leave the Kampong Saum to go to uh, that island. As I stated, three months after the uh, Vietnamese located the island, we were assigned to station in that island. And then the, the Ensuite, soldiers who were captured by the Vietnamese were returned, and then they were sent first to Kampung Sao, and then they were sent back to their respective units on the island. Question. I'd like to ask you more questions about the timeline. You stated that the Vietnamese 
vacated Vous avez dit the island for three months before your unit was assigned to station on that island. However, previously Second. you said that the Vietnamese troops actually took control of the island for a period of three months. Could you clarify whether the Vietnamese troops remained on the island for three months or whether they vacated and three months later your unit was assigned to station on that Pulauai Island? Which is correct? Answer. I left Tang Island and then the Réponse. station in Pulauai Island. I was sent to Pulauai Island immediately after et the uh, withdrawal by the Vietnamese troops. Question. So this does not mean Question. that your unit was sent there three months after Cela the withdrawal by the Vietnamese troops? envoyé là-bas trois mois après le retrait des troupes vietnamiennes. And so, no, it was not uh, three months after the withdrawal of the Vietnamese réponse, troops. Non, ce n'était pas trois mois après le retrait des troupes vietnamiennes. The Vietnamese troops took control of the island for three months, then they vacated the island, and my unit was immediately assigned to be uh, to station on that island. Question. And upon your Question. arrival in Pulauai Islands, did you see any Vietnamese troops or Vietnamese civilians remained on the island? Answer, no, no, I did not see any Vietnamese upon my arrival. However, there were houses uh, that they built and the houses remained there. Il y avait des maisons qu'ils avaient construites, les maisons étaient encore en place. Question. I'd like to ask you about the arrest of the uh, Vietnamese. In de fact, you des spoke about the arrest of the uh, Vietnamese. Vous avez parlé de des and you spoke about different measures taken against the arrest of the uh, Vietnamese civilians and Vietnamese soldiers. Contre des soldats vietnamiens et des civils vietnamiens. My question to you is the following. Were there instructions in regards to the arrest of uh, Vietnamese civilians and uh, Vietnamese soldiers who trespassed the territorial waters of Campuchia, in particular in the area where you stationed? Answer. We were assigned to uh, guard the territorial waters Réponse. and uh, the Tang Island, the uh, Pulauai Cha and Pulauai Tmai uh, Islands. Our duties were to guard uh, the areas and Notre we would arrest anyone who trespassed the area. That was our duty. Qui pénétrait sur, dans ces eaux territoriales. Council, I will refer to this matter later and I like to uh, put you another un question. Put you another question. question. Mr. President, I'd like to Monsieur give a, a document to the a witness so that the witness can refer to the name of pour que le puisse uh, the person who made the statement. Figure. President, yes, Donc, uh, you can do so. Oui, Council, the passé. document is 319 slash 23.3.21. Council, Mr. Witness, uh, témoin, please refer to this document and do not read out the name 
Veuillez prendre connaissance de ce document and sans the counsel, please dire assist à voix haute le nom de la personne. Maître, l'avocat de permanence, Bad. veuillez assister votre client. Réponse. Witness, I do not know uh, this person. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Counsel, thank you. This witness uh, spoke about the fighting between the forces of Democratic Cambodia and the Vietnamese troops at Krakow and Polowai Islands. Do you recall these uh, incidents, particularly the incident that took place at Krakow Island? Réponse. Allow me to respond and I'm going to tell you the truth. Répondre et je vais donc vous dire la vérité. In 1975, l'île de Klajotsie and that was after the liberation Ceci est intervenu of, uh, après la libération de Phnom Penh. In fact, Krakatoa Island en fait, belonged to uh, Vietnam and it was Vietnam. known as Polo Pansong. Et s'appelait Polo Pansong. And it uh, belonged to the uh, Vietnamese. When I was there, I saw Vietnamese uh, residing on that island, and I made that report. Then I was assigned to, uh, to go to Tang Island. Affecté, donc je suis allé sur cette île. Question. Question. In your capacity, en votre capacité, did you ever engage in any Military fighting on Krakow Island with the Vietnamese troops. Did you ever engage in any military fighting on Krakow Island with the Vietnamese troops? Did you ever engage in any military fighting on Krakow Island with the Vietnamese troops? Did you ever engage in any military fighting on Krakow Island with the Vietnamese troops? Did you ever engage in any military fighting on Krakow Island with the Vietnamese troops? Did you ever engage in any military fighting on Krakow Island to see what happened, and I saw the Vietnamese there, and I returned. There was no military engagement on the island, and the island was situated rather far from Polowai Island, and it took us three to five hours on a boat to reach that island. Three to five hours on a boat to reach that island. President, the president. International Litco Lawyer for Civil Parties, you have the floor. Parties civils, vous avez la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste une courte remarque. Si je, si j'ai bien noté le numéro du document qui a été remis aux témoins, il s'agit d'un document qui n'a pas encore été admis, qui fait partie de la requête de Pio Sampan qui devait être discutée demain. Personne n'a de traduction, manifestement. Mr. President, if je, I took proper note of the document shown to the witness, that document has not been admitted into evidence as part of the je motion que le document, by the Kiosan Fund Defense Team. Le document E319 document E319 bar 23.3.21 qui a été cité par notre confrère which was cited et remis by our colleague aux témoins and fait partie to the witness de nouveaux documents divulgués is inclus dans la requête de Kyo Sampan qui devait être discutée ce matin. Toujours pas ah. President, document dans le dossier 002002. Ça veut dire que les documents peuvent être utilisés par l'équipe de la défense. 
to put questions to this 2CW1000. For that reason, we actually issued our oral ruling before the floor is given to the defense team. And uh, we issued uh, that oral ruling already as for the other requests by the uh, co-prosecutors and the defense team for noon year. We defer it to a later stage. And of course, the four documents requested by the defense team for a kill at some point were granted by the chamber, and there were no objections raised by the parties. Any other parties. It is now appropriate for our sort for our lunch break to break now and resume at one thirty this afternoon. Call our witnesses to assist the witness during the lunch break at the waiting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties, and invite them as well as the security counsel at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you understand, to take Q some point to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The call is now in recess. Nous suspendons notre séance. Merci.